Hi everyone. So today I'm mixing it up with Gigi. I am going to make a seafood chowder. But before I make the chowder, I'm gonna go ahead and make my stock. I'm gonna make a fish stock or a seafood stock whatever you want to call it, to use in my seafood chowder. And what I'm going to use today, I'm going to peel these shrimp. Um, these are fresh, um, large cooked shrimp. I'm going to peel them and use the shells. I also have here a large salmon head that I'm going to use for the stock. And I have some cold water lobster, um, lobster claws that I'm going to use the claws. Save the lobster and use the claws. I'm also going to be using some celery, some onions, some garlic, and some crayfish seasoning, some basil, some celery, and some carrots. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so I have two pots on the stove, and one of them I'm going to go ahead and put my this one I'm going to put the onions and saute all the onions first before I put it in the stock pot right here that's gonna host all the other ingredients for the, the stock so let's get some oil in this pot I'm just gonna put about a couple tablespoon full of um, olive oil to saute my onions garlic and um, peppers these are all the garlic and onions that I'm gonna go ahead and let's sweat out some before I put them in my stock pot. And uh, these are just big and rough chopped guys. They don't have to be in any particular order. Just rough, rough chop and let them sweat. All right guys, now I'm going in with my rough chopped celery and carrots. Just saute them along with everything else before I put them in that pot. It just gives some more, a little bit more flavor to your stock. And again, these are just rough chopped because they're going to be in the fish stock, okay? And for your fish stock, you can use whatever you want. You can use lobster head, you can use fish head, you can use regular, just a fish or whatever you want to use to make your fish stock. Okay, I have switched my pots around. The seasoning has been released from my onions and garlic and peppers. So now I'm going to transfer them into the stock pot. And my stock pot is the one with the strainer. So this will make it very easy for me to get all my stuff strained off. All right. Okay, and now I'm also going in with my fish head, my salmon head. I'm going in with that right now. And let that go ahead and start the cooking process. I'm also going in with some crayfish seasoning. So we can start layering on the flavors. So I'll just mix that around a little, cover it. I have a little air vent there, so cover that. Put the heat to about medium high, excuse me, and um, let that go ahead while I declaw my lobsters. All right, guys, I'm going in with my lobster shells and my shrimp shells right now. And this is gonna need to boil for about two hours. Then I'm gonna go in with some thyme, and um, there was some I had already gone in with some basil, so everything is gonna go ahead and love them themselves. Also going in with some fennel seed, not a whole lot. Lift those flavors. Just a few grains of whole allspice, just a few of them, not a lot. All right, so now I'm gonna cover that and let it go ahead and cook for about two hours. Yes, I've been wanting this seafood chowder for a few days and I figure if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. Yes, it's a long process, but hey, it's raining outside, it's cold out there, so why not? Guys, I'm checking in on my stock, my seafood stock, and it is smelling amazing. There's one ingredient that I did not mention that I put in while you weren't looking, and that's bay leaves. I put about four bay leaves in there. And honey, 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 honey. Oh, 
It's smelling so delicious up in here. So I'm gonna give it a still another hour to cook. And as you can see, it's reducing in the pot, but the flavor is, the flavor is everywhere in my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this pot back and let it go ahead and cook for about another hour before I um, do my seafood chowder. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my seafood for my chowder. Okay guys, it's been two hours now since my stock has been cooking and yes, it is ready. It is all done. I'm gonna go ahead, turn the stove off and just let it sit while I prepare my ingredients for my seafood chowder. All right guys, so this is it for the the stock again you can use whatever you have in the house really or whatever you like and there it is it is literally i can have a bowl of this right here it is so tasty and ready for my seafood chowder i'm gonna strain it and get all the goodness all the juice out, out of it and then i'm, I'm gonna use that juice for my seafood chowder all right so i will see you on the other side with my seafood chowder thanks for watching guys if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and um if you are a regular and you've been watching me again tag me if you try if you've tried any of my dishes and also just give me a, a thumbs up and just let me know what you would like for me to try these are nice big pieces of um the lobster shells that's in here and I've also put the salmon head and the skin from the salmon that I'm going to be using in my seafood chowder so all that is in here and this is a nice big pot of stuff that can be easily consumed just like it is because it is full of flavor all right guys thank you so much until next time thanks for stopping by god bless